first, uh, we have uh, two of our deputies that were wounded um, in the uh, gunfire exchange earlier this evening on the call for service. Um, very relieved to report that they're both in fair condition at this time. Uh, they're both in their mid-20s. Uh, one sustained uh, a gunshot wound to his leg, uh, and then a second wound was a, a grace wound uh, to his head, which again, just very, very fortunate. Uh, because it, it could have clearly been a, a fatal wound. And then the other deputy um, sustained a gunshot wound to his uh, leg as well. Again, they're both in fair condition. Uh, none of the wounds uh, appear to be uh, life-threatening, uh, but they, they're serious wounds nonetheless uh, and may require some extensive recovery time. So please uh, keep them in your prayers as we are. What we know so far, I haven't made it to the scene, I came straight to the hospital, but the preliminary information, I want to emphasize it's still preliminary because these type of investigations are very thorough, very extensive. Uh, so there's a lot of layers to it. Uh, it's a multi-agency uh, uh, type of response. But what we know is that this evening, our deputies responded to a discharging firearms call at the location on, on Amberfield. Um, uh, apparently a family member reported that uh, one of their relatives had been firing an, uh, a weapon, uh, perhaps uh, throughout the day, uh, and had finally called uh, law enforcement. So our deputies arrived. As they arrived, uh, the uh, male suspect, uh, approximately uh, 42 years of age, was exiting the location, uh, began uh, brandishing a weapon, firing at our deputies, striking our deputies. Our deputies were able to quickly engage and returned fire, uh, fatally striking uh, the suspect. Uh, the suspect was pronounced deceased at the residence. There were other uh, occupants in the home, both in and out of the house. Nobody else was injured as far as we know.